2019 started out as a really good year. Hey, babe. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's up? I love you. Today is my last day with Val, and we're trying to free my car. <laughs> I really don't want to go home. Side note. <laughs> In the winter, your car has a big hairstyle. Mine has a mustache. <laughs> Very big boy. <laughs> oh my god. Leaving Val's house was really sad because I didn't know when I'd see them again. But they have this way of making me feel really calm and confident about myself. And so I left with the hopes that this semester would be better than the last one. The design lab was completely redone, which made for a really fresh start. I had Jen as a teacher for the first time and her class was really fun. This is our teacher, Jen. She's very cool. Um, what was this project? Uh, well, it's an exercise right now, but it's titled Not Knowing, and it really is underscoring that word not knowing, so trying to get students to work in different ways of working, uh, not thinking about um, a, a sketch and starting from that point, but starting from uh, a composition that they would not create normally. <laughs> Fruit loops. Amy's class was really interesting too. We played a game where we had to draw cards um, that told us different facts about our theoretical future. And we came up with an image of what society would be like under those future conditions. And then from that, we had to draw more cards uh, describing a problem that faced the people of the society. And we had to design some sort of solution to that problem. Those first few classes made me really excited for the rest of the semester because I felt like enthusiastic about things again. But um, I don't know, maybe it was naive to hope so much. I'm recording in the dark because I felt like it'd be more atmospheric. This semester hasn't really been a great semester, much like the last one. At first, everything that was thrown my way, I attacked it with this relentless optimism. 2018 is the year of recovery and growth. I will climb over the obstacle and be a better person on the other side. That didn't really work for very long. So much stuff has happened that I haven't recorded because I just haven't had the energy. I've had panic attacks so bad that I've ended up skipping classes. For several of my classes, I only get three absences for the whole semester and I've already used two of those. Sometimes I just get these thought spirals where it feels like nothing will ever be okay uh, for the rest of my life and I wonder what the point of going on is if it's always gonna be this bad. I feel like I have no friends even though I do have friends. It feels like I'm not able to connect to anyone. It's like there's a brick wall between my heart and other people. My brain imagines the worst case scenarios and no amount of logic can make me feel better because I can always see the truth that it will always be awful until I die. The, the truth. I don't know. I have a lot of hope for the future. I'm moving in with Val this summer and I'm really excited and also my friend Quinn. It's gonna be the three of us and it's gonna be great, but right now, everything just feels so hard. <laughs> Part of it is my eating and that whole incident where the doctor didn't take me seriously. A lot of it is that I found out that I'm actually really bad at my job. I thought I was doing pretty okay, but it turns out there is a bunch of stuff I haven't been doing that I was supposed to be doing that either no one told me to do or everyone just assumed I'd like figure it out. It was like mentioned a long time ago and I meant to do it at the time and then forgot and then no one ever mentioned it again so I just like forgot forever. It feels like everyone else at work knows exactly what they're doing. They all seem so busy all the time and I'm constantly lost and my boss is upset with me and I thought my job would be more like an internship situation but no, it's a leadership position and I'm supposed to be better. I'm supposed to be good at this stuff already. Um, I'm not. I've never had an office job before this in my life. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's been an entire semester already. So there's like, there's no patience left for me. I should have figured this all out by now. And sometimes I just wonder if I'm just like stupid. I just don't 
understand things. I just don't get stuff. Everything is really emotionally overwhelming. I'm getting tested for ADD soon. Um, so if I have ADD, I'll let you guys know about that because that would explain a lot. My boss said that I should have more curiosity about figuring out what I'm supposed to do and I should have more initiative in talking to people to see how I can help them. Sometimes I just think that maybe I'm not cut out for capitalism. <laughs> like every job I've ever had, I've ended up quitting because I felt like I wasn't good enough at it. And I'm hoping it's just that I haven't found the right job for me yet and not that I'm incapable of working because that means that I'll be miserable for the rest of my life if that's true. I think the best thing for me to do would be to take a gap year, just get a job, just a job, like something where I don't have to do homework or anything. I can just go in, make money, come home, and then I could like use that money to pay off my loans and find myself for a while, figure out what medication works for me, figure out what therapists work for me, work on my eating disorder, and then go back to school the next year when I feel more stable and then I wouldn't have to be juggling this and all these assignments. But unfortunately, I can't do that because if I take a year off, then I'll lose all of my scholarships and uh, I'm only in school because of my scholarships. My family doesn't have enough money to send me to college, so um, if I drop out, that's it. I'm never going back to school, so I'm stuck and it really sucks. I just want to take care of myself, but I can't. My time isn't my time. My boss expects me to be checking my email even when I'm not at work. Anyway, that's just a bunch of stuff that's been on my mind. It's not all of it. It's a very abbreviated version. I'd recommend following me on Twitter because I post stuff on Twitter now. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>